Hi there everyone, I'm Mario again from M Studio and welcome to this new tutorial. Today we are going to talk about projection mapping, which is by far one of my best preferred techniques, uh, used a lot in motion design and visual effects. Projection mapping allows you to turn a picture into a 3D scene. Yeah, it does. And we're going to use this picture as an example. As you know, my videos are short and straightforward. Therefore, some basic knowledge are required to follow this tutorial. You might need some Photoshop skills and you should already know how to use the Cinema 4D camera calibration tool. Uh, if you don't know Photoshop, well, you should. <laughs> Photoshop is really the designer's best friend, so I once again assume that if you are into 3D, you have spent some time in the 2D world, especially with Photoshop. As a matter of fact, the first thing to do with the picture you want to turn into a 3D scene is to isolate all the overlapping elements and to recreate what's behind them. As you can see, I have the main room in a layer and the pillars and the power of them in a separate one. This is not a Photoshop tutorial, so my goal is not to teach you Photoshop, but I'll show you anyway how I did it. Pay attention, because I'm really fast with Photoshop. Told you I was fast. Oh no, this joke is really stupid. But let's move on. Uh, the second thing you have to do is to calibrate your camera. If you know how to do it, well, great. If you don't, you can watch my camera calibration tutorial before you move on. It will not take a lot of your time and you will learn another great Cinema 4D technique. As soon as your camera is calibrated, you need to recreate a rough version of the geometry of your picture. In this scene it's very easy and once again I will speed up the process. Fasten your seat belts and watch. I'm also very fast modeling, huh? Yeah, this joke doesn't get better with time. It's lame again. But what can I say? <laughs> Alright, now comes the fun part. If your Photoshop file, your camera and geometry are set up, what you need to do is to go to the window menu and click Projection Man, which is, by the way, a tool that Maxon has created years ago for Sony and that was used in movies like Polar Express with Tom Hanks and Beowulf with Angelina Jolie. Brad Pitt, best preferred tool. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with me to die? Uh, here you have to drag your first object under the camera you use to calibrate the scene and choose Load Bitmap. Then you have to select the Photoshop file you have created before and select the layer that corresponds to that object. Next to it, do the same thing with the alpha channel. Go on with the next object and always remember to link it to the right layer. If more objects need the same link, you can also move them in groups, like this. Reassuring Cinema 4D that it is exactly what you want to do. This software is sometimes so insecure. Projection Man will create some textures and will apply them to your object, but this might not be good enough. If some object is missing the texture you have chosen, just select its texture tag and change the side option from front to both. And voila! These little things can drive you mad if you don't know them. Another cool thing you can do to improve the quality of your project preview is to select all your materials. Go to the Editor tab and change the texture preview size to No Scaling. Definitely better. Now that your scene is ready, you need a new camera. You must never touch, modify, or delete the camera you used for calibration and projection. Otherwise, you will mess up everything. With your new camera rotating a bit around, you can appreciate the result of your efforts. This technique is almost magical. If you just want to animate the camera in your scene and fly, across the room, well, you are good to go. Remember that projection mapping fakes the perspective of your textures, 
So don't go too far from the original point of view when you move the camera. If you also want to add more objects to your scene or reshape the lights, you might want to add a background and apply a compositing tag on your floor, as shown in my camera calibration tutorial before. You can also move the textures from the luminance channel to the color channel and with some work, some Cinema 4D, some After Effect, and why not, some of my preset toolbox, you can get something like this. Beware of the flying pig. <laughs> uh, Want to see it again? All right. <laughs> Guys, we are done for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Write your comments and questions in the section below. Give me a thumb up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Share it with your friends. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. And as I always say, go ahead, make me proud. Ciao. Hey. If you reached this part of the tutorial, you might have enjoyed it, so if you think I deserve a tip, well, I would not get offended. <laughs> you can support my project with, doesn't matter, even one cent is okay. I really appreciate it. Uh, my PayPal address is info at mstudioitaly.com and you can find a donation link in the description or in the download page of uh, the toolbox. Thanks a lot and uh, yeah, thanks. Ciao.